Been chopping wood again. Pretty much used the gas that I had my chainsaw. Uh, these are cut. Anyway, just gotta kick them through. But I pretty much just used up everything I had. Uh, just keep plugging away. I do need to get a wood shed for next year. That all depends on the health codes and regulations where I can put my RV for the coming year. I might end up keeping the RV uh, where the sole camper is, but I'm actually thinking about building a tiny home right here in place, and if I'm allowed, knock down some of these trees to allow more sunlight through. Some of these little saplings are not doing anything but sucking up nutrients and blocking some the other trees. Nice big trees like this, these guys here, these are nice. Um, they can stay, but the saplings are just sucking up nutrients and crowding the space. And actually, from what I've understood online, it is good to uh, reduce competition in, the, in your, your forest area and help improve the environment for the bigger trees. Like this nice evergreen here, I want to give him a better chance. So the trees around him are going to come down. And also, he'll be the only one shading my, my new home. Uh, the saplings around him will come down, and uh, most of these will be gone. And then I'll have a much better uh, amount of sunlight coming through here. And I won't have the mold issue I had this year in this camper. That was the biggest thing, is this camper had a serious mold issue. Also, well, it depends if I get permission or not to do so. But all these little saplings here need to go. This is all too close to the camper. And these guys right here, all these little scrub trees. I don't know even what that is. Multiple trunks come out of one root base. Scratch, scratching against the camper. These gotta go. And then I'll have a safer place for my home. So again, I might end up keeping the tiny home here. It all depends on what the code says. Because this wetland over here might be protected. I know there is an area on this property that is protected. Um, and depending on what they say, I'm probably going to have to stay a certain amount of distance away from that where I want to have my water supply so I'll have to measure out I'll have to find out where they say I'm not allowed to work and where I'm not allowed to uh, build I mean and then work back from there now the ground is still pretty wet see there's a wet mass yet um, actually it's really really wet over here the forest floor in here is just sopping wet from the rain. It hasn't gone away yet at all. Um, so I don't know yet where that spring is and where the wetlands actually begin officially until this dries up and gets down to normal. Well, there's actually like a pond out here in the forest right now. It's so bad. I don't know if you can see it. The camera doesn't show what I can see very well. well I'm happy this isn't like this in the summer the mosquitoes would rip me up worse than ever look at all that water I've never seen this I've lived here two years and I've never seen this that's a lot of water heard my first frog today I love them they sound like chirping birds they're so cute Yeah, this year never dries. This is never, never dry, so makes me wonder. And this here is always wet right here. So, I don't know. I'll find it one day.
Now this is smart working. Oh, this is nice. This is a wheelbarrow I had dragged out of the forest last year. Oh, look, that's a Sears Craftsman. How oh, cool. It still shows. I wonder if the guarantee is still valid. <laughs> anyway, um, boy, wouldn't that be funny? I never thought of that. Anyway, um, this is the one that just got a new wheel on the weekend. And that would have taken me a good 10, 15 minutes, piece by piece by piece, to bring up here and put inside the uh, porch. But instead, it took me all of five minutes to toss into here and uh, wheel it over. And now I just carry it in and stack it up. This is so much better. So this year is definitely looking up. Things are improving. A lot of people wondered about my my vision last year and my plans. It was a bit scattered last year, I admit. It was a bit of a stress last year. I lost my job in January. Just about my birthday. It was a nice birthday gift. Let me go. I um, lost my home in February and I moved out here into the old dilapidated camper and uh, stayed in here um, throughout some serious blizzards and some snowstorms and some serious cold. I was burning firewood up until jo June last year every night. It was crazy cold at night. And then moved my way up to having the RV with the experimental passive solar shed and outdoor wood stove um, that was all experimental and a good success I hope to expand on that this year and put a passive solar porch all the way around the RV but anyway things were a little bit haphazard last year I, I admit I agree some projects weren't finished the garden I just didn't have time or gas money to get materials to finish that's why this year it's just going to be plowed under and I'll start a back to Eden type garden as I said earlier though but uh, things are definitely taking shape and looking better a lot of improvements this year you'll see it'll be a good year I don't even have to bend my... Uh, that's so much better. I'm not bending over to pick up the wood. Oh, remember I was bending down to pick up the wood off this pallet. I would pick, carry it over. I'd bend down, pick it up, carry it over, bend down, pick, set it down. Bend down, pick it up, carry it in. So much nicer. My Canadian friends are seeing this. I want to say again, thank you for all the help on the weekend. This is way nicer. This is all good hardwood I just cut. It was stuff I dragged out of the forest. This was all dead wood just laying there, ready for the taking. Can't wait to get the codes checked. Thursday I'm going in. Find out what's allowed on Thursday and what's not for my uh, living situation. So much easier work now. So much easier on the back. 
wheelbarrow is definitely a good part of a homestead. So I've got a nice little wood pile there now. That's a good couple of few days of burning. We still aren't out of the woods yet as far as, uh, huh, out of the woods, I'm in the woods. Anyway, um, as far as uh, cold, cold, cold mornings and cold night times and cold evenings, I work in here, in here until I go to bed, so uh, I still have to heat this place. Right now I'm wearing a sweatshirt again. Um, something I should show you. I was over at Tractor Supply. I, uh, I do get help from people from time to time, I want to say first. and. Um, some people specifically say use this money to get this or that and I want to say thank you um, people do often help me with either gifts in the mail or a financial help and uh, I uh, was received help to get some plants I've got some grapes some uh, raspberries and a few trees little apples tractor supply is pretty cheap and these guys are inside the solar porch for now because it doesn't freeze out here and um, they're healthy looking little guys they're waiting for a few more days before they go out there have actually grown I think these guys have doubled since I brought them in um, I've had them a few days here I just forgot to mention it these have doubled since I brought them in here I think they're liking it I think they're really happy here but um, I'm gonna have wild grapes and um, what do you call it tame grapes <laughs> whatever you call it wild and commercial grapes and then I've got the, the red raspberries and the yellow raspberries I've got some asparagus and some apple trees the apple trees are also very healthy and so far they seem happy out here on the passive solar porch they are getting sunlight by the way uh, and I think it's enough to, to um, keep them alive nicely and help them grow a bit so that's going out I'll show you actually my plans I'm going to have a edible hedge row the um, the front wall this year is that camper has got to be moved because this line is going to be a straight line. Line up these stakes, all right, and it goes right through the middle of that camper. Um, you can see the line there of those three stakes. This line is continuing over, and this front line will be a edible hedge. And because the sun rises here, comes across the sky and sets here, so once I clear some of those trees over here and some of them are here the garden and everything here including the solar panels will get full daytime sunlight and with the hedgerow being on the back wall of the garden of course any plants in the garden will get their full sun and the hedge which is higher is going to get its full sunlight so I'm going to put the, um, the grapes and the berries out along this row here and I'm going to harvest some wild grapes and some wild blackberries from the forest in the next couple days here. i got to hurry up at it before, it, uh, before the ground is thawed. They're going to start budding soon. And then my apple trees will be somewhere out here in the meadow. I'll have a few apples together. I did read that apples don't like a low spot so this is right here not a good area where the stream goes through but then again this is going to be graded off if I get a any kind of earth moving machine this will be graded off and leveled anyway and filled and um, but right here there's a higher spot which would make a nice little apple orchard this higher area it would be perfect for an apple orchard now the chickens to re reiterate the plans of the chickens this back post right here is the back corner post of the garden and that runs straight back that wind turbine as you can see when you line this up has to move because it's just just on the edge of the garden so that'll have to be moved out just a little bit the chickens will have 
free range to eat and scratch all through here all up into about here and right around here is going to be a herb garden so obviously this swamp has to be raised but from here across will be an herb garden so the apples will probably be on the back edge of that the solar panels eventually will be raised up on poles and the apples will be kept neat and trim so they won't be too high and shadow that then the herb garden is going to be up in this area and cover pretty much all the way back up to the tree line and we'll have brick pathways and brick raised bed garden areas but that'll be next year I won't possibly get to that this year I might collect some materials for it uh, I'm gonna go to some uh, demolition sites where they're taking down brick buildings and stone buildings and see if I can get free material for that but that'll be next year the apples are definitely going in but the um, brick walkways and the brick raised beds are gonna be a, a future project so yeah I'm investing time into here because even if I don't own the property I don't have to leave I can rent forever I just have to have a decent place to live and I have to be up to code and nobody will mess with me as long as I'm obeying the law nobody's gonna bother me so that's it for me good night